first we're gonna try to get off all the urine and stuff dilute it a little bit a few days ago I noticed this patch of hair that was missing from Winston's front leg but then once I brought him on the stand and I looked at it closer I realized that it was a burn not from a fire or anything but from his own urine are you gonna put some kind of ointment on it yeah oh let's see we're first gonna clean it See, bucks like to pee on themselves because they think that it smells good and they want to smell nice for all the ladies on the farm. But it actually is really, really acidic and it can burn off the hair on their legs and even burn through their skin and make their skin raw. We haven't had this problem with Zorro. Zorro's just kind of like your normal run-of-the-mill buck that does pee on himself but not too much and Winston is like a buck on steroids he loves talking to the ladies constantly he is very much concerned with smelling good and so he is constantly peeing on himself so today we're gonna take care of it clean him up and hopefully get it to heal just aquaphor or also the stuff in the Jar. Yeah, also the stuff in the jar. Give me the stuff in the jar. We started by cleaning the area. Then I put a little bit of lavender oil mixed with coconut oil. And finally, we topped it with this stuff called Aquaphor. It's sort of a petroleum based ointment to help protect his skin while he heals. We're going to get this all on it. Pier two, get all up in his hair. Oh, also, we're going to use this handy buck apron. Uh, hopefully that will help it prevent him peeing on the area while it heals. Okay, that's gonna help it. Rest for success. Alright, have fun. Oh, he sees Luna. Oh, it's Luna. And Stella, oh. No, oh, no, you're not allowed. Okay, Winston, just have to wear that apron for like ever now because <laughs> he'll just do it over again. You do a good job making yourself smell good with your cologne, but mm. you gotta stop peeing. He's like, lady, you're always obsessed. Zoro's like, why don't I get a fancy apron? <laughs> because you're good. You don't pee on your legs. Don't have the really good smell though. She's the only one that loves that swing. Yep. Like, come on. Get on, Tatum. Come on. All right, I've got everything ready for births and delivery. I got a new little organizer for it and everything, guys. So I've got everything ready for Stella. We just have to wait until she delivers. Goats are a lot like humans because they never seem to deliver on their due date. They're either early or late, and I have a feeling that Stella is gonna hold out on us. So we're just gonna have to wait and see. I'm posting pictures on my Instagram of Stella's udder every day. So if you wanna check that and see if you can notice any little change because her udder is gonna fill up a little bit more when she's ready to deliver. So that's all we can go off right now. It's just a waiting game. Did some dog take your shoe? Oh, the goat peed on it yesterday? Luna Say was standing right there <laughs> and decided to pee on my shoe and all down my leg. She knows she's she knows you're talking about her right yeah, now. Alright, here he comes. I think he likes the popcorn. <laughs> Good. Here, here you go. <laughs> oh. You know, Kevin, people say that you should get a proper trailer. Proper? Proper. But you guys don't know that he he actually welded this. Yes. He welded this all together, so. He made it so that you could attach it to the sides. So it's secure and it's open so Ron can see where he's going. Okay, let's see if our trail of caramel corn works for Ron. Ron. You're not He's still it. eating the first one. You got a long way to go. <laughs> <laughs> you better keep a. You better do less. Okay. <laughs> Get him in there, 
heathen. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Meanwhile, Lydia's I'm holding. I'm babysitting. <laughs> She's trying to keep them from eating all the popcorn. Okay, Ron, you gotta save a little bit for when you get there. Yep. Yay! All right. Okay, Ron has to go do some other sows at the other farm, so I have to say bye for now. We can't have Ron here while the babies are being born and everything because the male pigs will hurt the baby pigs, and so we can't have that. Don't take off because Tatum's underneath. Bye, Ron. Looks like you're already busy with your next job here, but we'll miss you. He's good at warm hubs. <sighs> Bye, Ron. Okay, who wants to be first? Who wants to be first? Look how she's standing right on the edge there. She's just trying to turn around to look and get out, but she can't turn her neck. So. You're gonna fall off. You're gonna fall off, Stella. Well, it's that time of year. We have to do a big goat care project for all of the goats. We have to do blood tests, fecals, which means test their poop. We have to give them selenium. And one more thing. Oh yeah, we gotta clip their hooves. Normally, I only do the blood test once a year. I do fecals twice a year to test for parasites. I do the selenium and hooves just once a month, but they all happen to fall on the same day. So I figured while they're up here, we might as well get it all done at once. We already did Winston when he was up here and we just finished Stella, but now we have to do all the rest of the goats. Luna, Tilly, Willow, Fern, Tatum, Winnie, and little Zorro. But now everybody's ready to go for the new year. We've got everybody tested and good to go. Hello. <laughs> He's just in here now, I guess. Here. Go on. You're not allowed in here. No. Here you go on. Go on. <laughs> I think we need some comforting food tonight, guys. So we're gonna make the best pot roast. My family just calls it roast beef or roast beast if we want to joke around about it. But no matter what you call it, you have to start out by searing the roast. This helps kind of lock in the juices and just makes it more tender. I'm sort of a just grab it with my hands kind of girl, so we don't need any tongs for this part. Just flip it over when it gets seared on one side and keep going until it's pretty well seared on all sides. So today we're not going to break out the instant pot, guys. We are not going to go for the quick hour cooking time. It's going to be a good eight hours today and we're here for it. We'll start with the roast, add some chopped onions garlic, some potatoes, and of course, a bunch of carrots. Now all we have to do is throw in about three cups of broth or water, I guess. And then we need to head to the garden because I have under the leaves here, a little tiny patch of thyme. So we're gonna grab a couple little sprigs and place that carefully on top. That's pretty much it. We're gonna set it on high for about six to eight hours. And oh my goodness, is that tender. And now it's time to make a gravy from the delicious juices. Normally gravy is really easy, but for some reason I decided to make it incredibly difficult today. So please enjoy watching me completely ruin gravy about three times. I kind of had it in my head that there's enough fat in the juices that I didn't need to start out by making a roux of butter and flour. Boy, was Danelle wrong about that. Because while it seemed like a good idea at first, it thickened so fast, I did not have time to add enough liquid before it just got all lumpy. So we toss that, start it over. We're gonna start with the butter method because that's better. Mix it up, let it melt. The juices are just waiting by. All I have to do is thicken it. So I'll add some flour, make a roux, mix it up, and it still got really chunky <laughs> and lumpy, and I could not add the liquid fast enough. I probably had my heat on too high. That's probably why this happened. And then I proceeded to spill the juices all over. It was really, really fun, guys. But I just kept mixing, and I just kept adding the liquid, and somehow, guys, we made it through. The gravy is pretty, pretty good. Actually, it was really good <laughs> because when those juices cook all day long, the flavor 
Wow, amazing. I had one last thing I needed to grab from the garden and that's some parsley. I gave it a little chop and oh my gosh, guys, this was so good. It was really comforting, just like I remembered. The gravy was not very lumpy and it was really good. So I'll put a recipe in the description below and try it out. Let me know what you think. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, <laughs> Kevin just <laughs> put some milk in there for Hermione and Tilly's drinking it up. At least. Oh my gosh, Tilly. She... These birds not drinking it. Guys, Tilly has to be the one drinking the milk. I don't have proof of it, and I had to move the camera over to Stella because we're watching her and waiting for delivery. But once that's over, I'm coming for you, Tilly, because I swear she was the one that drank Fern's milk that day. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. If you wanna see the video where Winston first figured out that he loved ladies, click right here.